Yes, this is New Currency Takeover Raphael Room. Take it off. Yeah. And our next performance, Henrique J. Paris. Crooked man is gone. Gone? Dead. 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 Villages start emerging from all corners of this runic placehold. All converging to the point in which Emrys had stayed. His dark skin still reflecting the kiss of daylight. His jugular cut laying in a pool of burgundy blood. Who, who 
has done this? The witch screams, cutting her way through the crowd, arriving at the scene. The villagers, they're silent. Her face pales, her eyes frozen, her heart broken. Who, who killed Emrys, my beloved Emrys? The villagers stare in awe, in fear, their eyes tracking one another but never finding connection. She collapses to her knees, tracing his palms, revisiting the days. Her head turns, venom fills her veins, rage consumes her mind. Who killed Emrys? The villagers, still silent, mute. No one has any answers. They're all afraid to answer. She screams again, it was you! Not me. Then, it was you! Then it was you! The painting? No, not the painting. Collectively, it was the room, the structure, it reeks, the walls. They're talking through artistic and expressive means, telling me of how my ancestors used to bleed and weep. The blood, sweat and tears went into the foundations of the city which lays at my feet. Time ticks, 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 the hours change, but the landscape still breathes and the quality to me. And these politicians, they rounded up all the coloured faces to convince me that Britain isn't racist, like... <laughs> Uh, they undermine my awareness with tokenistic phrases like, oh, here we go again, more woke agenda. Woke culture is killing my outdated yet traditional values. Death to woke culture, death to the crooked man. But I'm not woke, neither am I awake. For if I was truly woke, then my rage would flood the streets with Molotov cocktails. The new night flagship store would be ransacked to the bones of its teeth. My G's would have the police calling for reinforcements. My anger would ignite the scene. I am not woke. I'm half asleep, twitching in my dreams, pretending this nightmare isn't what I see. Like, maybe if I count to three, it will be okay. Because the curse was in the conflict that was never in my dreams to begin with. The question never was who killed the crooked man. The question is... Who is the crooked man? See, the crooked man is a black man. But not a black man, he's a black man because he's a dark man. He's a hypocrite, he's a contradict, he's a political scumbag marked from birth. The crooked man is a sinner, but a saint. The crooked man is the one to blame when cause and effect can no longer explain the nuances. The crooked man is verbose and inconcise, illiterate, yet articulate, meticulous, meticulous. The, but somehow swallowed by the frame of the bigger picture. The crooked man is dead. Dead. Dead, yet alive. Dead, alive. How? He lives as an idea. He lives through the testimony. Not the testimony, not the memory, because a memory has an identity, and if a man was to perish, therefore so does his image. See, you can kill a man, but you can't kill an idea because an idea will manifest like an infectious virus reaping through its victims one by one. So everything he stood for, everything, every movement he ever created, every philosophy he ever uttered lives. But the question still is, who is to blame? The dark man, the black man, the body. Exactly. Because the schemes that play at hand will never take responsibility for the outcome. Because if there is war, we created it through resistance. If there is famine, we created it through greed. If there is poverty, we created it by just not working hard enough. There's, if there's a decline in the social economy, this dogmatic dichotomy, we created it by not being smart enough. See, they will tell you that I am a crooked man. I am from a crooked land. Yoruba demons haunting me. Would anyone understand? They say my community is troubled. I should go back to once fall from where they came. My community is 
poisoned by trivial matters. I'm reaching towards my creator for divine intervention. I'm reaching towards my creator for acceptance because I'm pulled between the motherland and my place of birth. But who soiled the roots of Africa? Who muddied their boots with the blood of so-called barbaric savages? Animals like the tropic structure of rainforest. Barbaric savages, they called us. I read history. But ours read a little differently.